Greetings! Welcome to Saint of the Week, the show where we choose one saint's feast day from this week and discuss their lives and their impact on the church. The saint for this week is Saint Ephraim, whose feast day is June 9th, this Friday. Ephraim was born around the year 306 in the city of Nisbis, Mesopotamia, in which is now modern-day Turkey. He was brought up in a Christian family and baptized as a youth. He wrote hymns and biblical commentaries, which lent him his fame as a teacher. He was ordained a deacon, but he did not wish to become a priest. In 337, the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, Constantine I, died, leaving Ephraim's region of Mesopotamia vulnerable to attack. Shapur II, king of Persia, attacked many times, destroying countless cities and killing or deporting the citizens. Although the faith, courage, and prayers of the people kept the Persians at bay for a long time, it was not enough. And in the year 363, the new emperor Hovian was forced to surrender Nisibis and permit the extermination or expulsion of the entire Christian population. Ephraim and many other Christians fled to Edessa, the heart of the Syriac-speaking world. Ephraim set to work at ministering to his new flock and worked as a teacher at the biblical school there. Heresies were rampant in the city, but Ephraim battled them in a unique way, by writing hymns. He did this by taking the melody of the heretical hymns and writing new, beautiful words that reflected and reinforced the true Christian doctrine. Ephraim soon became famous for his skill at writing hymns and poems, which explained many different aspects of the nature of Christ and his teachings. After ten years of teaching and ministering to the people of Edessa, Ephraim died of a plague on June 9, 373. He is the patron saint of spiritual do- uh, directors and spiritual leaders. Ephraim's many, many writings best display his great holiness and devotion to Christ's church. He had a kind, sympathetic spirit and a deep understanding of and devotion to Jesus' humanity. He is called the Harp of the Holy Spirit for his skill at writing hymns. He has left a beautiful legacy to the church, a legacy of music and insight into the scriptures. St. Ephraim, pray for us. Our honorable mentions for this week are... Blessed Angelina of Marciano, St. Boniface, St. Norbert, Blessed Franz Jagerstadter, St. William of York, and Blessed Joachima. And of course, there are thousands of other saints who undoubtedly have their feast dates this week, but there are so many of them that there is no way we could list them all here. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Saint of the Week. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Peace, Peace be to you. you.